What is going on? Today we're gonna do a quick little diagnosis video. A lot of times I see people ask questions. Uh, my car goes up, but it leaks right back down. We're gonna get into that in this video. Um, really, there's only like three things that can be. Either you have an external leak. Um, usually you can see a puddle under the car or in the trunk, around cylinders, you know, check those areas. Uh, internal leak, which would be a check valve or a dump. Pretty much it. You know, it's a closed system. Fluid goes out, it comes back in unless it's leaking somewhere. So what I'll usually do, uh, obviously figure out whether it's the front or the rear that's leaking, I'll lift it up, let it sit, and I'll close my slowdown valve. That eliminates one of your possibilities. If your car lifts up, stays up with the slowdown valve closed, open your slowdown, you'll usually hear or feel a little bit of pressure being relieved. Uh, if the car starts dropping down after that, you got a dump leaking by. Uh, which dump's leaking by? Well, should be easy. Should be the side that leaks down, obviously. So yeah, by doing that, you found out your dump's leaking by. Um, if you close your slowdown valve and still leaks down, obviously, first first and foremost, just check for leaks. That's the easiest thing to do. Check for external leaks, puddles into the car, puddles in your trunk. So say you've already done that. You lift it up, you close your slowdown, still leaking down. Well, there's really only one other thing. That's your check valve. Uh, if you don't know, check valve is basically a one-way valve. It'll let fluid through it, but it won't let it come back the other direction unless it's bad. When you go to lift it up to test everything, uh, I don't recommend closing your slowdown first. Reason being, if you have a solenoid stick or something like that, uh, you can have the slowdown open. You can relieve pressure while you get back to your ground. So yeah, usually I'll lift it up and I'll close the slowdown valve and then start checking for uh, any kind of leaks. So what we're gonna start with, we're gonna lift the car up, uh, put it under some pressure, kind of walk around, listen for any kind of leaks. By listening for leaks, uh, what I mean is you'll hear kind of like a little thump or a tick, you know, tick, tick. Uh, usually that's the cylinder slowly dropping. And believe it or not, it's pretty loud if you actually know what you're looking for. All right, first and foremost, this setup's getting redone. So it's not going to look like this. Uh, that's one of the whole reasons the car is here. But this is his back pump. He's having problems with the right rear side leaking down and I found a little puddle on the left side so we know there's leaks on both sides but I do know the check valve is bad on the right side. That's what we're looking for right there. Now it's doing a lot slower than it was before and of course they got a ton of traffic going on right now. Yeah, hopefully you can hear that again. And that's with our slow down close. So that means our dumps are not leaking by. We have fluid leaking back into the tank through the check valve. Now looking at our hose routing, this is going to our passenger side. So it's going to be this check valve that's leaking. Uh, you could replace just one at a time. We're going to do both of them. We're actually doing new dumps, new check valves, everything. Kind of just to pretty it up, make everything symmetrical. As you can see, this is under the driver's side. We got a little leak there as well. So yeah, we're going to get that fixed up, but it'll be later on. So we're going to start tearing this thing apart, getting it all fixed up. Uh, we're not going to do that in this video. Like I said, I'm going to try and keep it somewhat short, sweet, and simple. Um, look forward to the build project on this. We're going to be going through it and cleaning a bunch of stuff up, fixing some stuff that wasn't quite done correctly. We got to take again, uh, things like that. But yeah, we got a good bit of work to do on this thing. So I just want to end up here. Uh, hopefully, it helped you out. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you think. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one. Remember, you won't know what you can do until you try.